The next technology we're going to look at is Bluetooth. This new technology is a wireless system used to connect several devices together to exchange data over short distances using radio frequency waves. This ends up creating a personal network area or PAN. Bluetooth does not require line of sight between devices. This means that walls will not stop the signal and also eight devices can be connected together such as mobile phones or printers to create this PAN. To stop Bluetooth from interfering with other devices in the home such as baby monitors, the data being transferred is chopped up into 79 frequencies avoiding interference between devices. When Bluetooth devices come in range of one another, an automatic electronic conversion takes place to determine whether they have data to share or whether one needs to control the other and this forms a PAN. One disadvantage of Bluetooth is security, where hackers can intercept signals and spy on or get remote access to a Bluetooth device. Two particular security issues with Bluetooth devices are known as bluejacking and bluebugging. Bluejacking involves sending a text message to another Bluetooth device. The user then might allow the contact to be added to their address book. The new contact can then send messages that might be automatically opened. Bluebugging involves hackers gaining remote access to a user's Bluetooth enabled phone and its features allowing the hacker to place calls and send messages without the user's knowledge. The final technology we're going to look at is radio frequency identification tags. This is a method of identifying products by sticking tags on them. The tags store data that can be received by an electronic reader. This method is used to track pallets or a product from the manufacturer to the retailer. A similar system is used on library books and CDs to stop them from being stolen. The system works by using a transmitter, the reader, and a transponder, the tag, which is attached to the product. The transmitter sends a signal that is received by the transponder, and then the transponder sends a signal back, allowing the product to be identified. These devices are available in two forms, active transponders and passive transponders. Active transponders are battery powered, they can be read over long distances but are expensive. They are used on vehicles, shipping containers and items of great value. Passive transponders take power from electromagnetic signals transmitted by the reader, but the signal is weak giving them limited range. They are used when the transponder needs to be thin and can be made into a label such as a security tag on a CD. That concludes this section of the revision. If you have any questions, please come and speak to me.